Let's Talk Kentucky is brought to you by Critchfield Meats. Welcome back to the show, everybody. The Let's Talk team is here, and we are joined at the table by Stacy Shepard, former UK basketball player and mom to incoming freshman Reed Shepard. Hi, hey, Stacy. Hello, Stacy. Welcome to the table. We are so glad, glad to, to have you. So you are definitely a known name. You are you are a former UK basketball player. You are a mom. You are, I'm sure, in your hometown because you said you're down in London, right? Yeah, I'm sure everybody knows you down there. So. <laughs> So, but there's always things that we know about ourselves that folks don't know. So tell us a little bit about yourself and something that people might not know. Well, I've, I was born and raised in London, Kentucky. I've always lived there and um, just blessed to be there with family and friends. Uh, but a lot of things or some things that people don't know is I grew up playing basketball with my dad. Mm -hmm. And um, we, he would always play in men's league, and that's where I would always go. So I got beat up and uh, <laughs> played outside with chain nets, and uh, it's where I really learned the game from. So I'm very fortunate for all that, that he taught me and what I learned from being with him. Um, but also, I always said when I was playing basketball that I didn't always want to be known as just Stacy Reed, the basketball player, Stacy Shepard now. And so as I got to college and I started dating Jeff, I no longer became Stacy Reed, the basketball player. I became Stacy Reed, Jeff's girlfriend. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then I was the wife. Uh -huh. um, and now I'm Reed Shepard's mom uh -huh. uh, and Madison Shepard's mom. So, you know, you gotta be careful what you ask for. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So the word on the street uh, in Kentucky is that your son Reed is gonna be a freshman playing at UK this year. So tell us he about is. that. I'm um, so excited. We are excited. Uh, it's been a lot of adjustment. Um, high school ended in March. He played in a uh, tournament in Italy. Um, Mr. Kentucky basketball. So there's been a lot going on. We moved him in on the 31st. Um, our daughter got married on the 13th of May. And so it's been, it's been a whirlwind of life adjustments and we're just trying yeah. to figure it all out. Well, yeah. we're, glad, we're glad you're going through it. <laughs> but you know what? Okay, so you and your husband Jeff played for UK. What advice are you giving to Reed about this season coming up? Um, the biggest thing is just to be himself, just mm -hmm. to remain humble um, and kind and treat everybody with respect and how you want to be, be treated. Um, because as you all know in media, um, you have a lot of people that really shoot you up high on the totem pole and then mm -hmm. immediately are chopping at the roots to tear you down. Um, but keep his circle really tight mm -hmm. and really close and trust the opinion of people that he trusts. Mm -hmm. um, and try not to let all the social media warriors with the darts and the bullets and everything flying to really get him down because there's going to be highs and lows as you all know and yeah, and everything yeah. that you do and some things are good and some things are bad but to try to stay on an even keel and be true to who he's, who he is mm -hmm. um and yeah. just be humble and respectful that's great advice i love really, it really really that's is. awesome well since you and jeff both obviously were big ball players at uk how much of an influence did you have on your children because your daughter played ball too and was very right. good so uh, let's give a shout out to her, but what kind of influence did you guys have on them playing ball as well? Well, it's interesting because, you know, we have a lot of Kentucky artifacts in our house, pictures and stuff, and Jeff and I made a decision before we had kids that we were not going to hang any of those things up in our mm -hmm. house because we didn't want them growing up seeing that, expect, you know, thinking that that's what they mm -hmm. had to be or to be a certain way or to go a certain school. and. We allowed our kids to, to play all sports, and um, they both chose basketball. Um, you know, Reed played soccer, football, baseball, uh, basketball, and Madison played soccer and also basketball. But, you know, we wanted them to find their own identity in their own sport that they were comfortable with. And they, they both chose basketball, which we're happy about. I know <laughs> nothing about cheerleading, so I was so <laughs> happy um, that Madison didn't go that route. But, um, you know, they, that's the route that they chose, and they walked through the door that the Lord had opened. And, you know, they've, Madison did great at Campbellsville, and we're expecting the same thing with Reed at Kentucky. Yeah. Great. Right. Well, so you have both kids out of the house now. That means you're an empty nester. What's yes. that been like? 
it's hard. Uh, I give kudos to parents that go through that every year, uh, all the time. And I, you know that progressive commercial where you turn into your parents? Uh, that's kind of how I feel now when I hear my kids are coming over. I'm like, oh, come back anytime. When you got longer to stay, I was like, oh my gosh, that's my mom. Um, but it, it's such a special time, you know, because they're not there and you don't get to hear their stories and how their day has gone every day. So when you do have that time, you really cherish it and uh, look forward to it. And I'm not much of a cooker, but I, I'm glad to cook dinner when they come Aww. home. Oh, I love that. That's great. Well, yeah. Stacy, thank you so much for sharing with us. It was great to get to know you better and we're well, looking you. forward to cheer and read on. Well, thank yes, you. I appreciate it. All right, everybody, stay <laughs> with us. Coming up after the break, a TV legend is saying goodbye and viewers are not happy.